Most of the people who find Neville do that via various law of attraction media and platforms and look at Neville's teachings through their LOA knowledge. LOA is a great introduction. It teaches you to utilize very powerful, positive states of awareness like gratitude and love, highlights the importance of relaxation, meditation, lays down the basics for creative visualization, helps you stay positive, you start paying attention to details, you see how your thoughts and feelings combined affect your reality. It's wonderful, but many times you try and dig deeper as often the results don't stick. Most people ask, what am I doing wrong? Why does it work for one thing and not another? You're not doing anything wrong. You just lack the knowledge of the why and operate only on the surface of things. It's like taking a painkiller. The pain might be gone, but it won't necessarily remove the cause. Or a drink, you might feel happier for a moment, but after a while you return to reality. I prepared a very quick intro that will help you transition to Neville's teachings. Point 1 The Techniques First thing that brings you to Neville's teachings are most likely his techniques of working with your imagination. You learn about multi-sensory visualizing in the state akin to sleep and falling asleep doing so. You learn about different ways to utilize this technique, like focusing on multiple senses or only one sense, imagining a specific scene you want to experience, or a scene that implies your wish has been fulfilled, repeating I am statements, or reimagining your day or an event to fit your ideal outcome. Point 2 Wish Fulfilled Both Elo and Neville tell you to feel as if your desire was already fulfilled. Both teachings entertain a concept of detachment. The difference is that LOA sources will tell you to detach from the outcome. Some will go as far as telling you to accept you can live without what you wished for. Now you come to Neville and he tells you to live in your wish fulfilled. It sounds contradictory. In order to see the effects of your techniques you have to take your attention away from your desire's absence in your objective reality. Neville's techniques allow you to see the world from your wish fulfilled. Meaning. To utilize your imagination to experience yourself the way you'd be feel think after receiving your wish as if it was happening now, until it feels like a natural thing, just like any other thing you possess. Having achieved this state you naturally detach yourself from desiring. Take the attention away from your desire's seeming absence and rest in satisfaction of already having that what you wished for. Point 3 Asking versus Claiming A cardinal difference between Eloa and Neville's teachings is a difference between attraction and assumption. Eloa bases its premise on an observation that like attracts like. It talks about frequency and tuning yourself into a vibration of a desired thing. With Neville you're diving deeper and learn that you don't tune yourself into anything. Your world is made of expressions of a state you occupy and echoes of your previous states, and it will adjust itself accordingly. A state is anything you have accepted as true. In this regard, all things exist already in every imaginable state, and it's your assumption that makes them appear as they do. You receive that which you are not what you wish for. Asking and receiving is operating on a surface of things. Claiming something by assuming a correct state of awareness, and occupying it however, is an inside job. You impress on your subconscious, and after what Neville calls a certain interval of time it must express itself on a physical plane. Point 4 You pushed out. When you first hear of the world being you pushed out you're probably confused. But thanks to understanding the basics of how a state of awareness you occupy shapes the world around you. It's easier to grasp that the world is tuning yourself to you, not you to things in the world. You assume an awareness, start occupying it by this assumption, and it expresses itself in your physical reality. The world is you expressed. Most of the times you don't control what you assume, simply because the way people are accustomed to live is reactionary. You react to things that happen in your physical reality. You are affected by other people's moods, opinions, actions towards you. You're affected by the weather, by what you see in the mirror. Neville teaches you the importance of taming your mind. A tamed mind will realize that the physical reality is just an expression and will be impervious to its temptations to evoke an undesired reaction. Point 5 I am. And this brings you to the core of Neville's teaching. What you believed is an outside principle or a force, like God or the universe, resides in fact within you. You are not a piece of a puzzle that tunes itself to attract things. You are the acting power through which those things are expressed. Man in the darkness of human ignorance sets out on his search for God, aided by the flickering light of human wisdom. As it is revealed to man that his I am or awareness of being is his savior, the shock is so great, he mentally falls to the ground. For every belief that he has ever entertained tumbles as he realizes that his consciousness is the one and only savior. Before man can transform his world, he must first lay this foundation or understanding. Man must know that his awareness of being is God. Until this is firmly established so that no suggestion or argument of others can shake him, he will find himself returning to the slavery of his former belief. Neville introduces a technique that helps you realize that you're that operant power, 
the I am meditation. It allows you to detach yourself from the appearances of your physical world and claim that who you wish to be, I am wise, I am healthy, I am important etc. As you can see, the journey of knowing Neville's teachings in most cases is a backwards journey. You start by learning the effects and the more you dig the more you discover the causes. Ideally for best results would be to start from point 5, lay the fundamentals and end on point 1. But I understand it might be difficult for a mind that's been conditioned by years of experiences. You are free to stop at any point mentioned above or continue and dig even deeper into Neville's teachings. Remember that what's most important is that you feel comfortable and satisfied with the knowledge you are given. Subscribe if you like this video. Happy Manifesting!